Good morning guys, happy Friday. Welcome to today's vlog. It is just about 11 o'clock. I just got out of the shower um, and I am working from home today. So Collins is at daycare, Emmett is actually home. He doesn't have school today and he doesn't like go to daycare anymore. So he's home with me. I'm like hoping that he lets me get some work done because I really, really need to work on some stuff for my program. Um, and for my students and stuff. So that's my plan today. And since Collins is at daycare, I need to pump like really bad right now. I posted over on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. It was actually probably like a month ago. I posted on Instagram and asked you guys about wearable portable breast pumps because I hate, hate being stuck to this wall on a pump. Like I can't stand it. Um, and I was actually asking about the LV. I asked if any of you guys had it and so many of you guys recommended the Mom Cozy um, portable breast pump to me off of Amazon. And so I like started looking into it and they actually sent it to me and I've been loving it. I was about to drop so much money on that LV and that's why I was asking you guys if it was worth it because I was going to spend like $500 and when you guys recommended this one to me and I looked it up, literally $130 for two pieces, a third of the price, absolutely amazing. I'm sure that it is the exact same quality as the LV too. So 100% recommend this one. You can actually get like the one piece for like $66.99 I believe. Um, but like totally worth it. So I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I want to share it with you guys because I know I have a lot of breastfeeding pumping mamas on here. Um, so like I said, this is the Mom Cozy Wearable Electric Breast Pump. It's hands-free. It fits right in your bra, just like the LV or the Willow, like both of those. And like the price point on this is so good and it gives me the same output as my Spectra. So this is the motor. So the motor on it just has like a power button. There's a massage function and then your expression and then you can like do different levels. There's up to five levels on both. And the suction on this is like, I personally think it's just as good as my Spectra. I still use it for only five minutes. Like I do my Spectra and I get the same, if not more output and I am not stuck to a wall. So let me put the motor on here really quick and I will show you guys. Okay, so the motor is on it and this is what it looks like. I did just wash it, so it is um, still drying. But this part here is silicone. It is so incredibly comfortable, you guys. Like 150 times more comfortable than like my spe um, Spectra flanges. So comfortability is like a 10 out of 10. And then this um, motor just attaches straight onto the silicone like super easily. And then this just sits inside of your bra and like i have no complaints i obviously i'm not bending over or like running a marathon while i use it i just like sit down either on the couch at night when i pump before bed or i will sit in my office and work or here at the bar and work and just wear it it's not like super quiet um you can definitely hear it when it's on i will say that so it's not like um extremely silent but it's not like super loud and obnoxious either i will turn it on just so you guys can hear so you can hear that's what it sounds like um and it is come more of like a slower pull i don't know i really like it it's very comfortable and the output is great so i'm gonna go ahead and um pump i'll show you guys what the output is whenever i finish pumping um I'll show you what it looks like. So it just collects in these little um, holders. And then this actually has the ounce count over on the side. So I think this goes up to like six ounces that it can hold, which is really good. And then it just pours directly into your bottle, which is another really convenient thing. Okay, so this is the output. This is the side that I would have been due to Nurse Collins on. And this is the one that I had nursed her on before she left for daycare. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump these into the bottle. Do is pop off this um, top piece here, and then I have my bottle here, and you just okay. So that side we have. 
about three and a half, close to four, whenever it sits, whenever it's sitting in level. And then we will add in the other side. Okay, so just at six ounces, um, and that was pumping for about five minutes. So that is pretty good. All right, so you just saw the output, and like I said, um, six ounces, that's so good. I literally only wore them for about five minutes, and six ounces is great. It's a great output. That's about what I would probably get with my Spectra. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys because if you're anything like me, I had no idea that these even exist existed. Everyone was saying that they were all over TikTok, but I'm just not on TikTok um, near as much and I had no clue. So if you are expecting or if you are breastfeeding or pumping like 100% recommend this Mom Cozy Wearable Electric Breast Pump. I will have a link in the description box and um, you guys can go check it out. Super affordable for the convenience and these are actually like chargeable i don't think i mentioned that but it comes with like a little usb cord let me pull mine out mine's just sitting right here from where i charge it so it just comes with a usb cord so you can literally charge them anywhere on the go you don't have to worry about like your batteries dying or anything you just have a little usb that you can charge the motors whenever you want so wanted to share that with you guys that's done i can get back to work Emma is requiring my attention right now he wants something i'm not really sure what he wants what do you need what do you need my car and my shirt on you want me to turn the volume up the show in the car oh okay i'll turn it up I guess Emmett has all of his cars parked out here. Um, this cozy coop was given to me by a friend and we're taking that to his school for the playground. So then he needed a police car. So since I'm um, going to be donating that to the school, we got him this police car. But I still need to take that. Are you a police officer? Emmett, are you a police officer? I'm a police officer. I'm a boy. Oh, okay. What's it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh. I just got Emmett down for quiet time, so I am going to grab myself some lunch. It is 1.10, and I have not ate anything today, actually. Um, so I'm, actually, I'm just gonna make like a chicken patty. That sounds okay. My air fryer can cook it in no time. <sighs> 
So I'm gonna make this. I feel like I have not been able to get anything done because Emmett is just like wanting a lot of attention today. <laughs> it's not even that he's wanting attention, it's that he just like wants to be right next to me and then I can't get anything done. So hopefully during quiet time, and it's been doing quiet time where he just goes upstairs and he um, sits in the, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this going. He sits in the playroom and he has to lay down on the couch and then I will put a show on for him and he has quiet time and he just has to lay there. He's not allowed to get off the couch and play. Like he just needs to like relax and have quiet time. And um, half the time he actually falls asleep and takes a nap. But he's just to the point to where when he does take a nap, he does, like if he falls asleep, he sleeps well for nap time. But he's just fighting us on pretty much everything right now. Um, and laying down for naps is getting harder and harder to get him to actually lay down. So we've been doing quiet time instead. I don't necessarily think he's ready to like completely forego the naps, but um, he is definitely like getting there. So I don't know, this is, we're just testing out quiet time right now and that's what he's doing, he's upstairs quiet time I put a monitor in the playroom so I can actually like make sure he's doing what he's supposed to do um but it's like one o'clock so it's been two hours since I pumped so I actually do need to pump again while I'm taking this like small break from working so I'm gonna eat lunch like I said I'm gonna have a chicken patty and then I think I'm also going to eat some sun chips um and then I need to get some water. I need to find my, my house is a mess. I'm like so torn between wanting to like clean my house and um, needing to work, but life, life, life. I'm getting my cup. I need this for some water. All right. And back to the work grind while I eat my lunch. like what it looks like on so like it's I mean it's pretty big and bulky I'm not gonna lie it looks like Dolly Parton going on um because of the motors and stuff but still like very convenient so I'm gonna pump and keep on working I'm literally gonna be sitting in my office all day until I need to go get Collins I have about an hour and a half until I need to leave to go get her so I need to knock out some of this stuff I still have to make um PowerPoints, record them, edit them, and upload. So I have a lot of work to do. I am not sure if you're going to be able to hear me um, because I'm driving. And usually when we're in the car, it's like super loud. But update, it is like 2.40, so I need to head to get Collins like very soon. And I decided I'm gonna run to a little local boutique and try and get some sleepers for Collins because 
Um, the bamboo material sleepers are like amazing. Collins is using the Kite Baby Sleep Sacks now and they are just incredible, like amazing. So buttery soft, I'm obsessed with them. Um, I just ordered a couple more online. I got the one that she's using now at this boutique that I'm going to, it's called Hooray. And I ordered her a couple more on the Kite website last night, but I am going back to try and get some sleepers because she's a hot sleeper and that bamboo material is just so soft. She slept in um, a sleeper last night that was like that material and she slept the best that she's slept in so long. And I don't know if it was daycare or if it was the sleeper, but I'm going to get more because, oh, I thought I was gonna fall. I'm going to get more because it, like, it's just so soft and I know she'll be comfortable, so. We're gonna go see what they have. <laughs> what happened? You can put it back in. All right, it is a lot later now. Collins is home. It is um, like 4.40. So we left around 2.45. Um, and we actually ran to a local boutique really quick because I wanted to get Collins some new jammies. <laughs> she is using the Kite Baby Sleep Sack. It's made of bamboo and it is incredible. Um, so I wanted to run over to that boutique <laughs> and see if they had any PJs in the Kite Baby brand. Are you so sleepy? Um, and I picked up a couple of those and then some little... What's wrong? It just, it, baby, it sticks on there. Um... All right, I put Collins down in her stand-up and she is due to eat, so I need to feed her. But I quickly wanna show you what I grabbed so that I can take it upstairs. But I need my husband to get home because third night, with, like David's been gone for three days now and I am, I'm over it. So I have a six to 12 month and a 12 to 18 month because usually I size up in PJs and um, I just went ahead and grabbed it because they actually didn't have a ton of the little girl's kite um in stock so i just wanted to grab it so that we had it for a size up so it's just a really pretty pink color this is like bamboo softest stuff ever everything that i got is this bamboo so i grabbed those and then i grabbed two of the little sleepies i'm sure you guys have heard of this brand um again there wasn't a lot in her size so i just grabbed the prints that were in her size you guys are probably gonna be like brooklyn this is not your style at all and it's really not but i don't care because she's sleeping in it and it's like the softest stuff ever so they um these are both six to 12 months and these do run bigger so this one is just like a mermaid print again it's like the band bamboo so so soft um, and this one has the, where your feet can be in or out, which I really like because I think Collins actually prefers her feet out. So I got it in this print and then this print as well, which is like little rainbows. So that's what I grabbed for her while we were out also, cause it's sitting right here. I got the cutest outfit in. How sweet is this little smock? It's huge though. I actually ordered two. I ordered a nine month and a 12 month because I didn't know what size was gonna fit Collins. And I ordered this a long time ago, like back in June. Um, this is from the company Sweet La Rose. They do like pre-orders and stuff. So um, yeah, I ordered this a long time ago, but how sweet. So it's a little shirt pants set. And this is nine months and it is for Christmas. And I actually ordered Emmett a matching smocked shirt but they accidentally sent me two tea. So I sent her a message and she's, it, since it's all pre-orders, unless someone turns in my three tea, I have a two tea, which is not gonna fit me, so. Anyways, Sweet LaRose, I've ordered a ton of stuff from there. They're so cute. And yeah, all right, I need to cook dinner. I'm 
starving. I need to feed her. I'm gonna feed her and then I'm gonna cook dinner. chicken fingers, um, apple slices, and veggie straws with ketchup. He loves ketchup. Um, but he is using his he or she plate. This is like a silicone suction plate. The suction on this is insane. Um, and then also this is from he or she as well, but it's a little fork. If you guys have been around since Emmett was like a baby baby, he or she is actually the sippy cups and um, bottle that we used. It was the very first sippy cup that he ever used and actually they sent it over and Collins is going to use it too. So this is what the sippy cup looks like. We haven't used it yet, but like very soon we're going to give her water in this. Um, and it loved it so much. So they sent that over for, whoops, they sent that over for Collins and then this is their um, bottle as well. Which I mean, like, how cute. And this is what that looks like. So, um, this is here. She, I will have them linked down below. Put that down. We're going to go eat. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But these little toddler plates are so cute. And they also sent, like, this little bitty bowl that goes with it. And there's a cup as well. I'm not sure where the cup is right now. But are you ready to eat? Yeah. I'm okay. Ready to eat. Okay. Let's go over to your chair. And of course, we have toys because why not? All right. And I am having a very gourmet meal mac and cheese with hamburger meat. This is literally one of the best childhood dinners. <laughs> so, this is what I'm having for dinner. Now I'm going to truly inhale my dinner while Emmett eats and Collins is content down here. Um, it's 5.30 and I need to start getting Collins a bath soon. So I'm going to eat my food, probably watch a YouTube video while I do it, and then hope that I can get through that without interruptions. Did you have a good day, daycare? You smiley girl. <gasps> Did you have a good day? <laughs> Did you? You look so sleepy. <gasps> you look so sleepy. <laughs> never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together 
Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. All right, guys, it is seven o'clock, 6.58 to be exact. Both of the kids are in bed. I actually put Emmett down right after I put Collins down because he was on another level tonight. He was just like so whiny and he's just exhausted. He fell asleep in the car on our way to go get Collins and he slept for probably about an hour maybe. But I think that just like everything is catching up to him and he just needs to sleep because he's like whiny beyond belief <laughs> and yeah so i made him go to bed at 6 30. he's been staying up until like 8 so this is early for him um so yeah they're both in bed he's still moving around of course he's not asleep yet i am back in my office because i still have so much work to do i feel like with emmett's attitude today i literally couldn't get anything done um so I'm back in my office i have so much work to do like so much work uh i am bringing in a mountain dew like that is saying a lot because i don't really drink soda very often um but i need caffeine and i don't really want to drink a coffee this late i just want like sugar a mountain dew the worst thing for you possible so i'm gonna drink a mountain dew <laughs> i'm gonna start working on my stuff that I, will, I have to get done. David has about an hour until he boards his flight. He's in Chicago right now. Um, he had like a conference for work, like a course thing for work. So he has been there and he will be home. His flight is supposed to land around 9 p.m. So he won't be home until probably just after 10 if I had to guess. So that's what we're doing. I am going to end this vlog here, but this has been a full day in the life of me trying to work from home with my children. Collins went down so easy. She was so tired. Um, so she's sleeping now. I'm sure she's gonna wake up between now and the time that David gets home, but we will see. So that is going to do it for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You guys can go follow me over on Instagram to stay up to date with me. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.